feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters, they're just fucking downers I swear to god they all let me down, I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant. The name of this song is called It's Only Worth It If You Work For It. This is a mantra that most of us as paparazzi consultants were told. It's worth it if you work hard for it. No, it's worth it if you inventory load for it. I mean, that's that's the basis of what we get. You know, they want downline. us to inventory load. Right, babe? So you get your downline to inventory load. Oh, yeah. Get your downline to inventory load and recruit more people so you make more money. So I was on a going out of business group on Facebook today, and I saw this particular post, and it's not new. These posts are not new to me. I've been doing my anti-MLM channel now for almost five years, okay? And for five years now, I have seen over 3,000 women through the quitting process. I want to give one of my viewers, she goes by Dot, Dot uh, uh, submitted her resignation today, so I'm really proud that she's quit paparazzi and she's done but this is Shantae Charles and this is her picture of her room okay and I'm gonna make this full screen and zoom in okay so she has the same stackable bins that I had okay and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight boxes on that one shelf and what's really interesting is the black boxes those are the fashion fix boxes so those are all of the boxes that paparazzi will not take back through the buyback program they won't take back Fashion Fix, so you're pretty much stuck with them. Then we have her turntable display right here. It's huge. It's like a, a 12 by 12. I don't know how big that is. It looks like it's either 16 inches by 16 by 16, and it's on a turntable. And then we have other supplies. We have tables. We have bins. We have bags, all full of supplies and jewelry. I see ring trays, okay? And then down here, even more inventory. This is all inventory, okay? So Miss Shantae Charles has a lot of inventory. So let's go back to the post. Question for sellers. How have you success successfully sold a big quantity of jewelry? I was a Papa consultant from 2017 to 2022. I have a ton of inventory and supplies taking space in my garage. What are some pointers for selling in bulk? Yes, this is my picture. All right. I'm, I'm making this video for you and every other former paparazzi consultant that was encouraged to inventory load. Okay. So there's a lot of comments on this. And I wanted to look at all the comments, you know. Specifically, okay? So let me pull up the comments. Any more people want the paparazzi for 50 cents and then they complain? I ended up throwing thousands of pieces in the trash. It's ridiculous. Now, I just want to remind you of what Trent Kirby said a few days ago. It was either in a winner's circle or something like that, that you have a liquefiable asset. 
All right. I don't know how liquefiable this asset is when you cannot sell it. Okay. I don't know how liquefiable that asset is if you can't sell it. It's it's the opposite. Just like my husband saying while well, he's playing his video games and listening to me record. And yes, I know you guys, he has not given his two cents lately. He's been busy with work and I'm not recording in the middle of the day when he's coming out of his office to refill his coffee and to get his lunch ready. I'm recording these at night after work when I have time and I'm not so exhausted. And I lost the post and I was trying to make it bigger for y'all and now I have to go down and find it again. But the comments on the post, we've all been there, done that. But as you go through this going out of business $2 or less paparazzi jewelry, you see a bunch of women, dollar plus tax and shipping, boards of earrings. And then we have another board full of earrings. And then necklaces and earrings. And you know what's interesting about this particular picture? I'm going to zoom in on this one. Look what's down here. We've got the, the heart with the iridescent crystal with the tassel. Then we have the life of the party mirrored necklace. Then we have even more iridescent crystal-y things. Everyone talks about how wonderful these iridescent crystal-y things are. But then we look at... What was that? Just me grabbing your dishes. My husband's grabbing my dishes and scaring me to death. But yeah, uh, it's, it's such a high demand item for the consultants. It's not a high demand item for you to sell to your customers. Paparazzi makes it sound like this is such a wonderful item and that everybody's going to want it and that the jewelry is going to sell itself. It doesn't. Yeah, but if, if it wasn't true, would they tell you? Yeah, if it wasn't true, they wouldn't tell you anyway because they're known for lying about a lot of things, okay? So I'm just going to repeat some of the comments that are here on this screen. I'd sooner donate it to charity, driven thrift, than sell it at 10 cents a piece. Some, like some are offering here. There are buyers, the buyers know the loss you're already taking it, selling it for one to $2 a piece. Oh, thank you. I don't know who Julie is that's telling her. See Emily Jones on YouTube, her former consultant. Best wishes to you. Thank you, Julie, for sharing that. I didn't realize you made that comment. Okay, so that's really nice. Um, people want, want it for nothing. And then they turn around and sell for, for, for full price. So I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to share with you something that a lot of people don't realize they can do. All right. If you have, and I'm just going to put this out there. If you have any Mason jewelry jars, okay. If you have any old Mason jars, if you have an old fish bowl. If you have any like peanut butter containers or plastic containers, do you, this is a new idea because this is all over TikTok. Take a jar, take the jewelry, one, out of the plastic, off of the paparazzi tags, okay? Take it out of that. Fill up these jars or get one of your old decorative bags, okay? Take everything off of the paparazzi tags. You know, the included earrings that come with the necklaces, they're worthless, throw them away, okay? Throw the necklaces in, in the bag. Throw a matching pair of earrings, you know? And the best part about jewelry jars is they call it a mystery jewelry jar, okay? You can put it on there. So this one is three pounds of mystery jewelry. So let's take a look at the picture of this, okay? So let's zoom in and see what we got here. So far I'm seeing some iridescent crystal, moonstone. I'm seeing a couple paparazzi necklaces and orange. So I'm seeing bangles and stuff. So here's another picture of it. There's a locket. So here's vintage jewelry. 
Now, let's look at this. She started, oh man, it won't let me go in there. So now people, the bid is up to $76. I don't know what the bidding started at, but there are 76 bids on this three pound jewelry jar. And there's even more. So now we have this one, seven pounds of craft jewelry. Okay, so I see a lot of really gross, cheap stuff, but I also see some paparazzi stuff in here, okay? And yeah, it's all skiwampus, you know, jumbled up, and that's okay. People like it when it doesn't look like it's paparazzi, okay? It's a mystery jewelry jar. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, fantastic. You can do little jewelry jars. You can do big jewelry jars. This is one way that is becoming popular. I don't know who started this, but, you know, you go to Goodwill and you see in the Goodwill section, you see jars full of jewelry at Goodwill. And they're not just for sale on eBay. You can go to Macari. And on Macari, you can type in jewelry jar. So if you have a Macari account, if you have an eBay account, so jewelry jars, okay? So here's a mystery jewelry jar. You can sell them on Macari. So here's another thing, okay? And you can just flip through and you can, and I'm pretty sure you former paparazzi consultants, you recognize some of these pieces, okay? You're not alone. But the key is you want to take it, you want to take the paparazzi labels off of it and make sure the pieces match. So if you put a pair of earrings in a jar, make sure there's both earrings in that jar. Somebody did an entire jar of wraps and bracelets. Fun jar, bohemian, boho. So you could get creative with your excess inventory. You could sell mystery jewelry jars. You can sell mystery jewelry uh, fish tanks, vases. You know, you could even do a bag. I mean, this person doesn't even have a jar, so they just threw stuff in a bag. Okay? And I'm seeing a lot of different stuff in here. Have fun with it. It's a good way for you to get rid of it without, you know having to deal with people thinking they're getting something brand new, okay? So I would definitely recommend mystery jewelry jars. Now, another thing is when you, when you can, you've got to give yourself time to get, get rid of it. Now, like I've said in earlier videos, I quit at the beginning of the 2020 pandemic and I never looked back. And, of course, a lot of people were joining and shipping was slow from corporate, so they were buying from me. I don't know how many people are still stuck with the pieces they bought from me. Or any of you in these going out of business groups. But if you have to take a break from it, from selling it, that's fine. Okay? And just like... Uh, Sharita Bishop says, I started selling it for one to two dollars a piece. I was barely selling it. I just wanted it gone. So thankfully someone purchased it for about 50 cents per piece. You have to decide how bad you want to get rid of it. I would rather sell it for cheap and be done with it. Sell it in bulk. Try vending events. Don't do vending events unless they're free. Okay. So if, if there's a vending event that's free, you can do it there. But I wouldn't recommend those because some people spend all day setting up for those vending events and they maybe sell five or six pieces. So as much as this is a great idea, I strongly, strongly discourage vendor events. Now, if your local church has a little like bazaar where you can set up a little booth for free and sell it, you know, Bazaar style, you could do that. You could sell it for the same as paparazzi when they first started, five for 20. You could do, gosh, 
you know, $2.75, you could do 10 pieces for $30. 10 pieces for $30. It's, you know, a little bit more than what you paid for it, but it's less than buying 10 pieces from an active paparazzi consultant. Okay? So you would get $3 per piece. It sounds good when you do 10 pieces for $30. You could do 15 pieces for $30. You could decide whatever you want to do with it. It's yours. And don't let anyone discourage you for selling it for less than the $5 price point. Because like I've said many times in the past, paparazzi has their money. They don't care. They may care because you're hurting the marketplace for them. But honestly, if paparazzi truly cared about you as a person, they wouldn't do daily drops every single day, Monday through Friday, and then random Pink Friday drops in the middle of the night, Friday night or Thursday night. No, if they truly cared about you as a consultant, they would encourage you to have your customers use your replicated website to buy from you there. Then they wouldn't encourage you to recruit your customer base to become a consultant, therefore taking away from your actual customer base. Okay. But the thing is, is they want your customers to join the company and become consultants so they become the true customer of paparazzi, okay? They don't care if you have customers or not because they don't care if you do. You're the customer, paparazzi consultants. You are the customer, paparazzi. And they will tell you, hashtag no excuses, hashtag don't quit. You know, and then when you do, you know, they get, you know, preachy and all this other stuff. But as you can clearly see, I mean, here's somebody. She bought a whole bunch of these cute little clay bracelets on Timu and now she's selling them for a dollar each. You could easily do that too. You could take some Timu stuff, mix it in with your paparazzi stuff, make some new sets and bam, you've got something to sell. But I honestly would say don't buy any more jewelry. All you want to do is focus on getting rid of those love your life, iridescent, crystally rhinestone, ugly, cheap tassel necklaces and earrings and just sell them. And I would recommend starting the mystery jewelry jars with fashion fix sets. Okay. I would set up a couple jewelry jars with fashion fix. If you want to get something cheap to display your jewelry for in eBay, go to Goodwill, go to the glass container, go to the vase section and buy a bunch of vases for, you know, most of them you can get them for 50 cents to a dollar. Heck, you could even go to the dollar store if you wanted to, to get, you know, vases and jars. And then you could weigh how much the jar is and then weigh the jewelry but yeah so all wearable jewelry jars some name brands no junk approximately one and a half pounds vintage to now so this tells me that this lady she was a paparazzi consultant so vintage to now and i'm looking at some of the stuff and i'm seeing a couple paparazzi necklaces right off the bat okay so here's another picture, paparazzi bracelet right down there. And then we've got what looks like some paparazzi stuff. So let's go to another picture. Oh yeah, we've got a paparazzi lanyard right there, prominent in the front. And then on this one, what's going on here? We've got the paparazzi wooden jewelry. So I see cracked stone. I see one of the pearl pieces. So you guys can see there's lots of ideas here. So use your creative mind and you can do what you want. This person sells a jar, one jar, $50. If you buy two jars, you get them for $45. 
if you buy three or more jars, you get them for $42.49, okay? Or best offer, okay? And then, of course, if they want it shipped, they have to pay the priority mail shipping, which is only fair, okay? So huge vintage lot of jewelry, and she has stuff. Oh, my gosh, look at this. So she has stuff from Avon. I'm amazed there is no paparazzi tags in here, but she has a lot of vintage jewelry from other MLMs. So that's quite interesting. So do your research, figure out what other people are actually selling things for. So this is an 11 pound bag of jewelry mixed lot with new, used and broken. So it's a mixed lot with everything. She started bidding, it's up to $41 already. And this ends in three days. So I'm guarantee you by probably the end of the three days, because she's already got nine bids, her bidding is going to get up to maybe 70 or, 80, $70 or $80. And then for shipping, $23 is what they have to pay for shipping. Figure it out, you guys. But you don't have to stay stuck with this company. If you haven't submitted your resignation and you're on the fence about it, then go. If, if you're thinking about quitting, you've already technically quit. And I'm just quoting Heidi Bound. She's the one that said that. Or was it Andrea Hutchinson? I can't remember. It's in a video from earlier this summer. But if you're thinking about quitting, you technically already have in your mind quit. There should be nothing holding you back. There should be nothing keeping you loyal to this company. Because like I've always said, they don't care if you stay or go. The only thing they want you to do is buy. So instead of using your hard-earned money to buy their crap, say goodbye. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for being here. My goal this month is to get up over 1600 subscribers so if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do leave a comment down below i love to read them and respond to you when i have time and i will talk to you guys later thanks for hanging out with me tonight bye